I feel hurt when you tell my, when you tell my friends stuff about me that I did wrong because it makes them not want to play with me. I would like for you to stop telling my friends personal stuff about me. So powerful. That was Ava making an I feel statement, which is part of the Girls on the Run program. Yeah, girls are encouraged to make those statements to get comfortable using their voice and expressing their emotions. And just one of the ways the group is empowering the younger generation. So joining us today from our local Girls on the Run chapter is Rita Gates, advisory board member and coach. And we also have Anna Montgomery, a Girls on the Run participant. Although we know that you've aged out of the program, but this was really instrumental in getting you started with all of this. Did you make an I feel statement when you got started? Yeah, we practiced that a lot. And do you remember what yours was? Yeah, it was I feel happy when, well, I don't really remember like the rest, but I remember something about like being happy when people do stuff for me. Yeah, mm -hmm. when they help you. Yeah. Yeah. And so can you talk, Rita, about um, encouraging the girls to use their voice and why that's so important to teach at such a young age. Yeah, absolutely. And I just want to start by saying how proud I am that Girls on the Run is being featured today because it's International Women's Day. And something that the girls learn through the program, as you said, is that they have a voice that's worth being heard. And more importantly, um, that, they are ho that they are heard. And um, we talk about lessons focusing on positive self-talk and how to identify and um, express your emotions and I think that's all just so important in today's age where young girls especially between the ages of um, 9 to 11 um, there's a lot of um, things upcoming in their life be it conflict or drama or um, just things that you're going through at that age right yeah, and I think right. Girls on the Run is really a good platform and foundation for making them feel confident and empowered to take on that next step in their life. Right? Yeah, and you guys have on your running gear here, yeah. so <laughs> you actually do run. So tell me about that and uh, how, how far do you go? Yeah, do you want to talk about this, Anna? Um, yeah, so we did a 5K for at the end of our program, and we trained a lot at our park, and we ran around, it was like a loop all over through like the parking lot and back to the spot where we started. So we did a 5K, which is, I think, like 3.5 miles. 3.1. Yeah. What was yeah. that like? It was really fun. There are a lot of people there. Yeah. Kind of rooting you on. Yeah. yeah. And we can see some of the pictures mm -hmm. right now of that. Rita, what is the connection between running and, and just being part of this group and, and making some of these statements, having their voices heard? Because yeah. I know when I run, I can't really talk much, probably because I'm out of <laughs> breath. But this, this goes hand in hand. Sure, yeah. <laughs> I think, um, you know, running is something that can make you feel really, really strong as an individual. It's something, like Anna said, we work over 16 weeks to practice for the uh, end of the season 5K. That's a big celebration of all the effort that the girls put in. Um, and I think, you know, one of the biggest misconceptions about Girls on the Run actually is that it's an after-school running club, but it's about so much more than running. Um, it's, it's a curriculum that's focused on emotional learning and social learning and all the lessons that are part of the 16 weeks. You know, we talk about some of those things that I mentioned, whether it be positive self-talk or emotions, um, dealing with conflict and bullies. So it's, it's more than just the running. It's, um, it's all those other things that make girls feel strong and empowered to get them to that 5K. You know, as adult women, I think that we can all speak to an instance or multiple instances where we feel like we weren't heard Definitely. or that, you know, we didn't have a place somewhere. Um, how do you explain that to someone who's so young who hasn't maybe experienced those things yet, but like to prepare them for that and yeah. to make their voices heard? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. I think just knowing that you yourself are enough no matter if you wake up someday and you feel like you know you've been beat down because of an argument you got in with your parents or um, something that happened at school but just knowing that you yourself are enough and that you know you are strong as you are that you're capable of doing hard things and trying to carry that through your day-to-day -day life whether that be through fitness or um, at school or at your workplace as you, you know, grow yeah. up and become a woman. And it's really quickly, what's the biggest life lesson you learned from being in the program? Well, I learned that you, you yourself are enough and you don't have to change the way you are to be more like other people. And yet you're okay just the way you are. I love that. Yes. Okay, well, it's working. <laughs> yes. What you're doing is working. Good. Thank you both Thanks, so much. Ladies. Thank you. Thank All right, you. for more information on Girls on the Run or to see if a team exists in your neighborhood, you can go to our website and we will have a link for you there.